Spring has sprung, and now it's time to start thinking about the canoe season, and I'd like to kick that off by sharing with you my DIY removable yoke. This is a lightweight removable yoke that I made last season out of western red cedar, some pine, and some hardware from the local hardware store. I've got about $45 into this in a little bit of time, and I'm extremely pleased with the results. Like I said, I made this last year, so I wanted to get some use with it before I made a video on it, and now I feel comfortable saying that this is going to work. It has worked. So $45, a little bit of time and effort, and I have myself a removable yoke that weighs one pound, one ounce. And I'd like to show you how I did it. So let's take a trip back in time. In a couple weeks, I have a pretty ambitious canoe trip coming up. And there's a problem. I don't have a yoke yet. I almost bought one from Winona. They offer a carbon fiber one. It's $150 and I almost bought it, but it was out of stock. I wanted a lightweight yoke and I was looking around at all the other ones that there were for sale and they're all a little bit heavy. What I was realizing is that these things are made for canoes that are much larger than mine and heavier. So that got me to thinking maybe I should make one. I'm using a template that I made from a scrap piece of pine. Before I committed to spending money and time on the project, I made a mock-up to see if it would even work. And it did. Now I'm transferring those lines to a nice piece of one inch thick western red cedar that I'm going to use for the project. I don't have a jigsaw and that's the tool for the job, but that's not going to stop me. I'm going to get this thing done with what I have. So I'm going to use what I got. This is roughed out, and as it is right now, this weighs one pound, four ounces, and this thing is strong. I mean, real strong. There's no way that this is going to break under a 32-pound weight load. So, I'm going to thin it out. Some of you are probably thinking, why isn't he just using a file or a rasp? And, uh, you're right. Game changer. Wow, what a difference this makes.
Now I need to work out the clamp system. I have the yoke right here, which is roughed out to approximately how I want it. Not quite done yet, but I'm going to lay that out centered on the boat and get it exactly where I want it. For clamps, I'm using these little wooden blocks right here that I've already made. And we're just relying on leverage and pressure for the clamp system. This little block will go up underneath it. And from there, I'll use the hardware to tighten it. And that's going to create enough pressure to hold this canoe during our portage. So I took a trip to the local hardware store to look around and see what I could come up with for hardware. And what I came up with was, was this right here. I figured that this would be a really good way to tidy the whole project up and to drop some of those ounces and grams because this is a lot lighter than the spare parts that I had kicking around. Let's get these installed. Alright, I've checked, I've double checked, and I even checked again, making sure that everything is in place and exactly where I want it. And now, I'm going to drill the holes. I need a longer bolt. Then again, now that I think about it, if I sink the head of this bolt into the bottom of that clamp piece, that's going to give me just enough room to grab on. And I think that might work out just right. Maybe. I'm going to try it. To finish this project up, I glued a small patch of closed cell foam to the yoke to help give the yoke better purchase to the canoe. And that's it guys, that's how I did it. A little bit of creativity and quite a bit of stubbornness. And I have this beautiful wooden yoke that works awesome and looks great on my canoe. I'm very pleased with the results, couldn't be happier. This was a really fun build. I learned a lot of stuff and now I've acquired some of the proper tools to make this whole process a lot easier. 
So I think I'm going to make a few more of these just for fun and just to see what happens, see what else I can come up with and I don't know, just for something fun to do. I like to make things, especially when they turn out well. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate your support. I'll talk to you next time.